Hi everyone, Katie here. Welcome back to another layout video. Today I am scrapping some uh, pictures from New Year's Eve. Um, so that was only a couple days ago now and um, I have a few of the wide Instax um, photos to scrap and I want to do some mixed media and sparkle. So I take th or four of my Distress Oxides on a pre-gessoed piece of white cardstock. I'm using chipped, uh, no, tumbled glass, kitsch flamingo, uh, picked raspberry, and cracked pistachio. And um, I like my mixed media in the end, but as I'm doing this at first, it's just not enough color for me. I wanted a darker pigment. So I am using my Heidi Swap color shines as well. And I use them in pink and ocean and sweet mint and those add a little more sparkle and a little more color um although i will say at first when i first finished it up i'm like eh, mm, not exactly what i was going for but by the end of all of it i um really enjoy what i've created and i use my heat tool to dry it off and then i go ahead and tear the edges i want it to be on this pink sparkly cardstock um and I want it to stand out nicely. So on those torn edges, I am taking some gold paint. This is um, from Folk Art. It's metallic and it's called Pure Gold. And I am painting the torn edges. Um, I've done this once before in a video a long time ago, but I really like how it's turning out um, on this layout. And I really like how it differentiates the mixed media from my glitter background, um, which is you know, kind of a lot. I realize this layout has apparently a lot of my head in it um, and a lot of sparkle and things going on. So I can't, um, you know, let anything blend into the background too much there. So I apologize for um, this headshot here, <laughs> but I promise it really does turn out pretty well. At least I think it does. Um, now, I do not know if using acrylic paint like this is considered, you know, photo safe or acid free. It's probably not. Um, that's my guess. So I am kind of taking a risk there, um, but I don't put it, you know, directly on my photos. So I think it works out. Now, I do stick this down with double sided tape because glitter cardstock is hard to stick to. And I find that mixed media papers are hard to stick to too. So it, this is all either liquid adhesive or um, double-sided tape for this whole layout. Now I cluster my three photos together and I use again double-sided tape to put them down. Um, there are you know, two photos of my friend and I and one photo with my husband and puppy dog. Um, so I think they're pretty cute. We decided to uh, dress up a little bit for New Year's Eve even though we were staying at home because COVID and life you know it's just a lot going on right now but still better than last year when we spent it completely alone um so that was nice and i really like how i've got my photos here i used my cricut to cut out my title which is feeling 22 um we are not 22 years old anymore but it you know the century is so i thought it was you know a fun cute title and i really like that i have it here in black i think that um that really pops with all of the sparkle and um, colors that I have here going on. Now I am using my liquid adhesive in my needle nose bottle. The liquid adhesive that I use right now is just Elmer School Glue, um, which is non-toxic, so that's great. I do um, think that, you know, once I run out of my gigantic bottle, I'll probably try more um, you know, scrappy adhesive, but for right now, this is working for me. And it sticks really well to the glitter cardstock, which is, you know, usually pretty tough. So I've got my title here, and I'm really liking how that's working. No, I'm going to need uh, a journaling box and a few embellishments here. So I have this um, birthday set of embellishments um, from Paper House, and they were actually meant to make like a frame or something. Um, but they also really work out for New Year's, a lot of them. So this one that I'm putting down, it says, let's celebrate. Very appropriate. There's like almost like a little firework starburst 
little sticker um, that I put down here. And I'm using liquid adhesive on the Let's Celebrate because um, I pulled off a bit of the uh, foam adhesive just because two layers of thick foam adhesive is, is kind of a lot. Uh, Paper House is very generous with the, the foam there. Now I have two little embellishments. One is a little um, banner and one's a little tag. The tag is for journaling. This came out of my Sparkle City um, journaling pad and it was like the little cut apart sheet. And I think the colors are um, nice because they're similar to what I have, but a little bit richer. So I think you see them a little more easily. And like I said, um, I just write about you know how we enjoyed our uh, New Year's Eve, hanging out with friends and staying home. <laughs> so nothing too exciting, but it was fun. I use my Fiskars punch um, for corner punch in Sea Pearls. Now this punches some cute little corner borders, but uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't like to actually cut off the corner anymore. Um, so I do have to take my little scissors to it to really you know, finish it off, which is a little annoying, but, you know, that's okay. I still like the little, you know, corner dots that it punches around, too. I am inking up the edges here of both my um, little banner tag and my journaling box. I'm just using my little Distress Oxide cube, um, and it is in black soot. I'm just trying to um, help my things stand out a little more, um... Because I do, like I said, I think there's a lot of color, a lot of stuff going on on this layout. And it would be easy for things to get lost. I popped that one up on foam, again, just to, you know, differentiate a little bit. Um, and I use a sparkly gold brad to put um, in the little tag hole on my banner tag. Now, usually I poke a little hole with my um, thumbtack. It's just a thumbtack that I use, but this time I used my um, sharp uh, detail scissors, and that worked pretty well. Um, I think I could much more easily uh, hurt myself by using those because I almost, you know, stuck it through my finger. But if you were more careful than me, I think it would be great. Now I have this little piece of ephemera. It says right here, and it is just the perfect color blue. Um, so I ink up the edges of that and put a little double-sided adhesive on it and then add it to my little um, puffy sticker area with the little gold foiled starburst um, thing. Now I'm trying not to uh, get ink on myself and then therefore over the page. Um, so that's why I'm using my tweezers there when, you know, clearly that was a large enough piece that it did not need to have the tweezers used. And now one of my last little ephemera bits of, you know, embellishing, I'm using this, um, like it almost looks like three different color watercolor heart. Um, I believe it's from Paige Evans. And I outline it with some sparkle and ink it up there. And that will go over in the cluster with my little journaling box. I am gonna pop this one up as well, again, to just help it not blend in exactly to the background because that pink and the pink in the background are qu quite close. Now, I am going to finish off my layout with a few more stickers from this, you know, Paper House birthday set. Um, I think it works out really well, and I love how this layout turns out. So those last stickers will finish up my layout. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful 2022. Bye.